Morning guys, DK here, product development engineer for Airrush Kiteboarding. Today I'm going to be taking you through checking and adjusting the trim on your bar. This video is applicable to any bar in the Airrush range, but for today's purposes I'm using this ride bar. The uh, first part of this process is we need to run the lines out and attach them to a single connection. For this purpose I've tied a rope around this tree, but the tow bar on your car your leash tied around something secure can all work. Right. This bar happens to be one of my personal bars. I I believe it's got about 15 hours of riding on it. I've been using it maybe a month. I'm expecting it to be out of trim. The, I'd kind of recommend trim your, uh, at least check the trim on your bar within the sort of first 10 hours of riding, and then maybe every 20 hours or every couple of months after that. Let's run the lines out and attach them to the tree. With all four lines straight and tangle free, Let's attach them to this piece of rope. Right, it's back to the bar. Easiest way to confirm trim on any air rush bar is to have your cleat or strap in the fully powered up position. Then pull all four lines tight. And it's just as I suspected with this bar, we're about 100 millimetres over sheeted, most probably from the rear lines shrinking in use. We'll now need to get under our floats and put some length back in, into our rear lines using the rear line leaders. To do this, I'll grab a multi-tool. I'll reach in here, grab my leader line, And pull it out from under the bar. And looking at the amount of uh, the amount of space we had there, I think I'm going to shift this all the way down. That's the first side. knots I'm going to shift this leader all the way to the bottom now I'll recheck that trim We've almost got what we're looking for. I'm now going to load up and seat those knots on the rear lines. And that's almost perfect. We're about one centimetre over trimmed. This bar is good to go. 